Hello guys, uh, Justin here with AVR. Uh, we're wrapping up a week of working with Delaney, and Delaney hails from Cincinnati, Ohio. Delaney will be uh, 12 years old in a couple weeks, and um, she came to us by meeting one of her co-workers on the beach in North Carolina. So she was just doing uh, normal everyday stuff out on the beach, and one of our guys that we work with uh, saw her and uh, just kind of turned around our charity and what we do, and uh, they were lucky enough to apply and uh, get accepted to come down here and get uh, set up with a new high activity prosthesis. Delaney uh, came to us uh, with her old prosthesis so she already had a very good high activity foot that we, we uh, were pleased that she was accustomed to and knew how to use already um, but we always find that there could be improvements made upon someone's prosthesis as to become more active and find things that they want to do in life. Uh, this current socket is a pin lock suspension. It has a uh, Supra patellar trim lines. Uh, we find that these trim lines are necessary when you have a weak quadriceps. They encourage extension of, of the knee. And uh, she also has this posterior formula of uh, foot and uh, a foot shell. So things that we improved with the prosthesis is uh, we do like this foot for high activity. She does gymnastics and soccer. So this is a really good running, walking, hybrid type foot. We like that it's posterior mount because a lot of uh, patients do don't have a lot of clearance for a a springy foot, for lack of a better word, we can always get something on posterior mounted on here to give them the function that they are looking for. Uh, as you can see, she's very active and her foot shell is running, is wearing through here. Uh, this foot shell has actually been wearing on her pylon, and this is a sandal toe, and it was kind of cracked on the foot plate. So we had to get a new foot plate and pylon because this pylon is wearing down and it is cracking right here, and a new foot shell. And so uh, what we did with her new prosthesis is uh, obviously a new foot shell and what we do here is we like to glue some tread on the bottom. This kind of helps, uh, helps foot shells last a little bit longer. It's good for gripping on uh, the shower or the pool surfaces or just everyday walking to preserve the longevity of a foot shell. You just know how to replace that. Another little tip that we do is we kind of trim the foot shell down a little bit in the back to take the stress off the carbon that just prevents the foot shell from wearing out and over time the foot shell can wear on the carbon and start thinning it out. So those are a couple tricks to get a little bit longer life out of your foot shells and your uh, pylons for the posterior mount foot. Uh, so this is a, a below the knee socket. Actually, uh, Blaney has, she's not been diagnosed with a PFFD, but we think there might be some PFFD present uh, just because uh, where her patellas are at, you know, her, her femoral length is shorter compared to her sound side. So she's never been diagnosed with PFFD. Uh, she, we have a x-ray of her hip. She has, you know, her whole femoral neck and femoral head, trochanter. We don't really have a good sound side image to compare her acetabulum to the, to her amputated side to the sound side. Uh, what's most prevalent here is uh, she has been diagnosed with fibular hemimelia. In uh, at a young age, she had a Boyd amputation. So a Boyd amputation is very nice because they allow you to distally end bear on the end of your leg. And as you can see, she has her heel pad present here. So uh, Delaney has no problems end bearing on the end of her leg or putting pressure down here. And what's nice for us is that because she has this, bold, this bulbous presentation, we can get away from her current suspension and use a, a type of suspension method we use a lot here at ABR for uh, limbs that present like this. So we're using an anatomical uh, skin fit suspension method uh, using a P-Light liner, wherever that P-Light liner went. Uh, but anyways, uh, we were able to go to lower trim lines. We did not need a uh, super patellar trim line because we kind of did our own assessment of, of strength and she has good quadricep strength. We also uh, did some varus and valgus tests and the anterior drawer test. So she has good, or she does not have any laxity in her ligaments. So uh, we were able to lower the trim lines to allow her to get some more knee range of motion uh, for all the flipping and spinning that she does in gymnastics as well as running and soccer and kicking a ball. Uh, so again, you know, she has this ability to distal end bear on her leg. In this current P-Lite setup that we have here, again, it's anatomical suspension, so we're locking on to the distal end of the, where it's bulbous at. It's slit in the back so she can expand to go down into the socket. So uh, we're about to put this leg on, and so she'll show you how you put the prosthetic leg on. She uh, dons a sock. She doesn't use a uh, gel liner anymore. So uh, getting rid of a gel liner always uh, reduces the uh, financial burden patients and parents have replacing supplies as frequently. Uh, it's also more hygienic getting away from a gel liner and just easier to maintain and uh, easier on the skin for sweat, for hygienic purposes, and overall comfort. 
Uh, Delaney has uh, some eczema that she deals with, and anytime you can decrease skin irritation and sweat on some, someone's leg, it would always be a good thing just because we already know she does have some, she's prone to skin irritation, so try and limit skin irritation is something we want to achieve as well. So this is how she gets her leg on. This is a P-Light, a sock, and then uh, she'll just step down into the prosthesis. And then her, her leg is on. And so uh, we're just going to wash her walk out this door real quick so you guys can get an idea of her current gait. You want to see, show them what else you can do with it. Perfect. Uh, so one thing we noticed doing an evaluation on Delaney is uh, she does have a slight knee flexion contracture. So that needed to be accommodated into her socket. The first time we did it, we built some extension into the socket because that's kind of how we preload the, these uh, prosthetic posterior mount feet. What we found is that uh, she needs to have that knee flexion and contracture accommodated, so we had to kind of redo it and give her accommodate for her flexion contracture. She also has some slight hip tightness, so in late stance, a terminal stance, she kind of has some pelvic rotation that kind of allows her to have some external or internal rotation of the heel when she's walking. We've uh, educated her and her family how to kind of stretch out her hips. And we're hoping uh, with some routine stretching in a Thomas test position, uh, some of that hip tightness should go away and allow for a smoother, more natural gait. But uh, when she came in here, uh, she wasn't really getting too much knee range of motion. She had a lot of external rotation, and we've been able to kind of smooth out her gait and allow her to use her muscles a little bit more efficiently than what her current setup was. And also getting rid of a liner, getting rid of the pin lock suspension system, and lighting up the whole way of the prosthesis because there's no componentry down here and no gel liner tool to use. And so Delaney, I think she's been pleased with the, the fit of the socket. And so what are some things that you think you like better about this setup than, than this setup here? Well, this one I couldn't wear into the water and I couldn't get wet at all. So like at water parks, I couldn't really like ever do anything. So with this, I can like walk upstairs with at the water parks and stuff. And also it's way lighter and my walk doesn't look like a penguin anymore, like it used to. Um, yeah, and I like that it doesn't have a socket because it's not as sweaty. What do you think about the comfort of this foam insert versus the liner and then the, you know how you got the pin down here versus it locking on down there? Is that better or what do you feel with that? I like it better because it like, this fits better to it. And sometimes it was a little uncomfortable like at the shin area and at the bottom with this, but it's not anymore. So overall, you think this will work out for you? Yes. Okay, good deal. Well, uh, Today's the last day and you're going to take this home and we're going to really see the changes when you leave from here. So we're excited to keep you updated or you keep us updated and you know, we're always going to give you some new supplies and new things as needed. Okay. So go team Delaney.